Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today is December 16th, and it looks like Samsung just pushed out the latest software update for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, I've been using the Galaxy Z Fold 2 as my main primary device. I've been searching for this update at least two or three times each and every single day, and this morning, this update was just pushed out. So this version here ends in BTK6. The size is 216 megabytes, and it brings in that December 1st patch. So what we're gonna do today is we will be downloading this. We'll also take a look at if anything is brand new. I have a different application I'm gonna test to see if there if it can find anything that I can't normally find, but I did write down the version numbers of the face recognition and fingerprint recognition just because I wanted to see if those also did update after this update was given to us. Then we'll go inside the Galaxy Store, see if there's anything that's brand new there. I just opened up the Galaxy Store, nothing was sitting there from before, uh, so everything should be fresh. Uh, and also too, make sure when you do download this, you are connected to Wi-Fi. It won't really allow you to download via LTE just to make sure that you have a more stable uh, connection. And usually in this part of the video, I usually like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and how-tos, and the latest updates and software information for your Samsung Galaxy devices. Don't forget to hit on that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Because really, you're not going to get this content on any other channel. Now that it's done downloading, this is where you go to install now. And then now we're just gonna wait for just a couple minutes. So the update is done and complete. And so the application that I'll be taking a look at and testing today is one that's called My APK. So this one was suggested to me through an email that I'd be able to take a look at this. It'll show me system apps, regular applications, anything that's been changed or updated. You can see a lot of these was updated yesterday. I can also switch this one over into system applications. So it looks like nothing was updated today. Uh, but I do want to take a look at the biometrics of the fingerprint and the facial recognition just to see if there was anything updated there that didn't show here. Um, but we're going to go inside of the settings. This is where you want to go inside of that biometrics and security. Then you go to the biometric security patch. Now, originally, when it comes down to the fingerprint, it was 5003. So same thing here. And then for the facial recognition, it was 11034. Uh, so it looks like nothing has been changed here from at least what that application told us. And from what this says right here, it's probably just gonna be small little bugs in the background that nobody's gonna really know, but something that Samsung probably had to take care of. And at least now we're on that security patch of December 1st. Now let's also go inside of the Galaxy Store because even though sometimes the system applications and some of the applications on your phone might not really get the updates instantly right away from that little small update, they do pack them inside the Galaxy Store, so this way there might be some updates sitting there. Uh, so looks like we got the Galaxy Store update here. So I got this one on the Galaxy Note 20 and my S20 FE. Um, so either, either it was a coincidence that this one just popped up right around this time or if this update brought the Galaxy Store update, but at least now we're sitting here. The cool thing about it is inside of the the exclusives tab you have all these made for samsung made by samsung and i was hoping that they would have the edge panel over here because uh, i did purchase an edge panel application that i think is freaking awesome so hopefully that'll be added in at some point but now we do have the newer version of the galaxy store so now let's go up to the very top left hand side let's take a look at any of these updates so we just updated the link to windows service right up over there this one was sitting in the galaxy store i don't know if this was there because of this update that was just happening but if we go back inside of this my apk application you can see that we did update the galaxy store but then inside of there i went inside of the top left hand side and noticed that this one also had an update and we just got done updating this one as well so i don't know if this update also brought this one as well um, but at least we do have a new galaxy store and link to Windows service for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 along with the December 1st patch. Oh yeah, and there is one thing I do want to cover and that's my case situation. So originally I did have this Spigen case on there. It was two pieces. There was another piece that went on the front, but that one didn't really have the best adhesives. It was kind of getting in the way every single time that I was holding it, it would kind of move around with my palm. So because I don't want to hurt the back of my phone, I just kept this Spigen case, the back portion of it on the phone. And then I just keep this front portion just completely open uh, because you know the only thing that I'm really concerned about is going to be the back of the phone i'm not concerned with the inside because it is a flexible plastic glass type configuration i'm really concerned just with the back because i always lay my phone down so this way not only is it protecting the back of my phone from scratches and dings and stuff like that especially when i go to the gym or really just lay it down on a on a bathroom counter or something like that but it's also protecting the camera on the back because it does have a good lip protecting the camera so for my case situation i'm not using anything on the front anymore just keeping the back portion of it and it 
it does keep the volume rocker and the fingerprint reader just completely open. Uh, but yeah, so some people might be asking why there's only half a case on it, uh, and that is the reason why. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.